Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing fine. Uh, I'm in, hanging in there. Not much changed. So today I wanted to show you a few different things which all by themselves would be too short of a video so I wanted to combine them. Uh, I had a customer ask me about the um, gear indicator and he wanted a digital readout and I did that and I showed you this, this before it was different colors, different background and then he asked me if I could match it to his uh, Kawasaki uh, motorcycle which is, let me take the phone out he sent me this picture and uh, this is what I did of course the colors are well, on my display it's a little bit lighter, but what I did is uh, use the online service to pick the color, the R RGB value, and put this over here. But of course the monitor, I mean my LCD monitor, the colors are uh, displayed differently on each monitor, so it's hard to match colors, but uh, anyway I did it. So what I'm trying to tell you is uh, I could match any background color and any digit color with the gear indicator and uh, as you know it goes up to 5, 6 depending on the gear you have on your motorcycle and I kind of like how it's transitioning of course it's doing that because uh, it's too slow to show but it looks like it's morphing, so I kind of do like it. And I think that's the last thing you're gonna worry about once you're on your bike, about the transitioning of the digits. But anyway, as I said, I do like it. So that was that. For the gear indicator, I'm still waiting on PCBs. I'm waiting on the carbon fiber fronts, which are uh, which were shipped out six weeks ago, almost seven. So <laughs> I hope they arrive and I hope they arrive at all. So I'm stuck in between and uh, well, can't do much. So that was that. <coughs> and I also wanted to show you these huge vibrating motors which will be incorporated into my GPS, the, not GPS, the new clock which will also have a vibration alarm so I ordered these to see how big or small they are and uh, they are pretty small so that's not an update and I will also do on my heads version of products I will make a PCB with wireless upload for the code so you will be able to upload any code wirelessly to it through I normally hate Bluetooth but in this case it's just for uploading and uh, I tried it it works even large files I can transfer and um, I might even incorporate it in some other products like the can gauge for example that I designed new for this form factor for the heads and um, that way I could send the customer just a hex file from the Arduino IDE and he can receive it uh, with his phone well I can show you because I'm recording this with the phone but you will receive the hex file in the email and you open up uh, open it up with a app on your phone and then you can select the can gauge or whatever the product might be click upload and the code will upload wirelessly to your device so you don't have to take it out of your car bring it in open it uh, attach a usb adapter to it uh, use your laptop computer whatever to upload you will be able to do it all wirelessly so i know it's nothing new uh, but uh, anyway I will do that so that's the second update I'm gonna do on the heads 
and I also wanted to show you a new two-way handheld radio that I received from Banggood actually this one I didn't order they sent it to me on their own and <laughs> thank you Banggood I appreciate it and I am by no means a ham radio operator I do not have a license all I use these guys including this one that this one I purchased myself um, I use them as a FM radio I know you will say there's million radios out there that you can use but I'm using it for that and on this one for example you push the F button over here it switches to radio and I will just shortly play it I don't want any copy uh, copy copy copyright infringement <laughs> so this is a radio I will not go into detail because there are many more people who know what they're talking about radios and uh, you can look in on YouTube for those reviews and they go into detail and this has just too many functions I have no clue and uh, back then when I was using a CB radio it was a CB radio uh, 27 megahertz and it had like I don't know 16 20 or something channels and we were using it in our cars and that was like uh, 34 years ago hmm. so back then you didn't have no cell phones uh, anyway I do like them and actually checked on Banggood they have quite a few different ones I mean they have like a, a wide selection of radios and I just happen to have uh, two of the Baofeng or however you pronounce that and I do like them and as I said I do use this as a FM radio I don't have too many channels out here anyway <coughs> excuse me so I am glad that I get one or two channels and can listen to radio because I'm sick of watching TV um, while I'm working because I cannot watch anyway so just hearing is enough <coughs> excuse me so that was that and um, I also wanted to show you a picture of what happened last Sunday to my parked car in front of my house boom um, the paint on this was gone before that has nothing to do with it it's just uh, this dent and uh, shattered backlight taillight and um, a neighbor with his tractor he was moving along the street the street ends here I'm off the street 30 40 centimeters and his trailer whatever he was pulling came off or something like that and hit my car uh, I was uh, a little upset of course not I was pissed and I'm just glad it didn't hit the glass if the glass would break I mean I or I had to order the taillight from America it cost me about uh, well till it is here it cost me over 300 euros or tr almost 350 dollars although they sell I think for 180 or something like that but with shipping and taxes and customs and whatnot it comes to that uh, for the damage here I have no price yet so I will get that and uh, well one positive he is paying for it he already paid for the tail light but nevertheless I mean it just sucks and uh, anyhow that was a week ago I am barely calmed down <laughs> by now so that was this Sunday's uh, short video compared to the other ones and um, I wanted to thank again Banggood for sending me these items I showed you my tire pressure monitoring system which I love and um, I have an air quality monitor system coming which 
is actually a little late. I could have used it in winter time because I'm uh, heating with wood and I get dust all over the place and it would have been interesting to see the air quality with the wood burner burning in the house. So that's that uh, and I want to thank you to thank my patrons who are supporting me and uh, any link that you're clicking on my Banggood affiliate link does help as well and uh, I still have no sales post office does not accept packages still not and it seems like I'm almost not getting any packages the two-way radio came with uh, what was it DHL I think I'm not sure uh, no speedy it's uh, over here in Bulgaria it's speedy they brought it it came from Germany and um, those things arrived pretty pretty fast considering the situation uh, I think like in three weeks and uh, can't beat that so yes that was it I'm sure as always I'm forgetting something and I just leave it for the next video so take care everybody thank you and uh, till next time